So let's talk about raising your rates as a life coach. Once you reach a certain level of success as a heart-centered life coach, it'll come a time, and there will be a time, when it's time for you to actually increase the rate that you're charging for your services. So when is the best time to do this, and how do you raise your rates without losing your existing clients or turning them off? Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey. I'm the author of two best-selling books, No Less Than Greatness and Building Your Field of Dreams. And that book became a PBS special. I'm also the co-founder of Life Mastery Institute, the world's premier training and certification center for transformational life coaching. Now, you didn't wake yourself up this morning and neither did I. There's a power moving through us. It's the power of life. It woke us up this morning. That power, life itself, is ever seeking a freer, fuller, expanded expression of itself by means of itself. That's what it's doing in a blade of grass, pressing through cement. That's what it's doing at the edges of a tree, pressing forward with more life. And that's what it's doing in you and me. And that's why we feel just more alive, more fulfilled when we're progressing, when we're growing, when we're expanding. And of course, this includes our vocation, our business. As your life coaching business grows, you're gonna reach a point where either your calendar is completely full or you're working the hours you do want and you know that your expertise has grown to the point where your value is at a higher rate than what you're charging. So it's going to show up because your clients are having results. They're actually referring people to you and word, of, word is spreading. So you actually may end up having more clients than you want or your calendar of time you're willing to give your coaching business is really full. And you'd love to expand your income because life in you is wanting to grow in the same way it's wanting to grow in your clients. Now, when this happens, you can raise your rates in a couple of different ways. First of all, you know, I'm not sure whether you are a life coach who has, does group work or just one-on-one -on -one work, whether you offer programs, whether people enroll for a year at a time or one coaching session at a time. But if you're only doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's the most limiting way for you to earn income because nobody gets more hours in a week than anybody else. And if you're going to work 40 hours, that means you get to see at most 25, 30 clients because it takes time, of course, to track and document and do the things that are required to do the right thing for your coaching clients. So here's a few guidelines to follow. You can raise your rates for individual coaching and you can also begin to have group coaches, group coaching uh, programs where you're helping people in small groups. But first, never raise your rates until if your client is in a program of study until they've completed that program. Don't, don't interrupt that program. You've enrolled them in, say, in a 90-day program. You wouldn't interrupt that 90 days by raising your rates. You would wait until the completion of that 90 days. You start speaking to your client a few weeks before the change, and you're inviting them into the next stage of their development. And by the way, this next stage of development, there's a different rate of investment for that stage of development. So you keep your word to the clients you've enrolled for a particular amount of time that you're going to deliver coaching for them. Then when it's time to sign them up for a new program, be honest with them. Let them know that your rates have gone up. You don't have to defend that. You don't have to even give a reason for it, although you can. You say the business is growing and or you have more demand for your time or whatever the truth is. But your clients ask that you be truthful with them in the same way that you can help them best if they're truthful with you. So it's, it's, you want them to become more prosperous and you're an example of that. So as when you feel guided and it's, you're ready for this, then you're going to raise your rates and you just tell them this in an honest, calm manner. Now, provided that your client has been seeing results from working with you, they're gonna be willing to invest in greater results and longer results over time. And if your client questions that, then you can just explain the reasons behind increasing your rates, but you do it in a confident and non-defensive tone. You just let them know there's more demand for your time and it's time your business is growing in this way. And as much as you're happy for their growth, you know that they're happy for yours. And you just say that, and they will be. Particularly if you just expect that. You'd be amazed at how your clients are really happy for you. They've come to love you. You've been helping them. So remember, growth and expansion is what you coach in your life coaching. So by growing your business, you're actually practicing what you're teaching. Now, you could also highlight any additional training or qualification or investments you've made in your life coaching business if you want to. But I don't think your client really needs that. They want to know that you feel confident about this and that you really believe that the value they're receiving is way more than what they're going to be investing even as you raise your rates. So as you may have heard me share in one of my previous videos, I have a coaching business, a personal coaching business. Yes, I train and certify coaches. And I've been doing this for a very long time. But in my own personal coaching business, 
I love coaching people in groups. I also have some one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. With, uh, with 35 years of experience coaching and mentoring tens of thousands of people in large groups and small groups and one-on-one -on -one from all around the world in the art and science of transformation. People who want to work with me one-on-one -on -one will, are willing to invest at a VIP level. They're willing to invest a premium for my undivided time, attention, experience, and mentorship on their particular project or major initiative. So you will have the same thing and you may be having it now. I would just say to you that if you know that it's time to raise your rates and you know that you've been either you know, giving away your coaching or giving it away at a price that's way too little for what the value is, your client will have better experience if they invest at a level that's commensurate with what is the result they really want to create. So in closing, when you know deep down that the value you're giving is not the prices you're charging, you want to raise that. You want to match the value you're giving. You'll feel good about it and ultimately, so will your clients feel good about it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and share it now. And then if you'd like some more tools, strategies, and really highly effective things you can do easily, go ahead and click the link below and download my free ebook for you on how to build a really successful coaching business. Have a great day. Thanks for coming.